maybe not. Right? So that's what your stomach is going to do. The other thing your stomach does is it starts off with some absorption. Not much, but these are the three main things your stomach absorbs. Water, lipid-soluble drugs, and then notice number three, alcohol. So if you don't have a lot of food in your stomach and then you drink alcohol, what's going to happen? Absorbed. It's going to get absorbed. When your stomach absorbs the alcohol, it puts it into what? Your blood. Where does your blood go? Straight up to the brain, right? So then the alcohol reaches your brain really fast. But let's say you drink on a full stomach, especially what should you be eating when you drink? Bread. Why bread? Yeah, bread goes to your stomach. Bread is going to absorb the alcohol instead of your stomach lining, so then it'll take longer for the alcohol to actually get absorbed by your stomach wall because the bread has already like pre-absorbed it, right? Or carbohydrates, right? That's why they put out like pretzels and stuff at the bars. So that way, it takes longer for the alcohol to be absorbed by your stomach. You don't feel the effects in your blood to your head as fast, right? So you still get the same amount of drunk. It just takes. Longer exactly. You can still get the same amount of alcohol in your blood. It just takes longer. Yep. And then also the lipid soluble drugs. You guys might notice sometimes when you take drugs, they say, don't take this drug on an empty stomach. Take it with a meal. Take it with a glass of milk. Right? Why do you think that's the case? So it can slow the process. Okay. Yeah. So the absorption goes more smoothly. If you take lipid soluble drugs on an empty stomach, it's a lot harsher on your stomach lining. It's going to aggravate you a lot more. That's why they take take those medicines with a meal and or a glass of milk or something that helps coat the stomach, so the drug itself is not going to irritate your stomach wall as much. Right. So that's one thing I wanted to point out about the stomach. Okay. So this is true. Okay, so knowing that, which of the following is not true about the stomach? One, digest protein with pepsin. Two, mixes food into chyme. Three, absorbs the majority of your food. Or four, sends the food to the small intestine. Which one does your stomach not do? One, two, or three. <coughs> Which one's not true? Which one is stomach. not true? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm seeing a mixture, mostly threes and a few ones. So let's look at three. Absorbs the majority of your food. What were the only things my stomach absorbed? Alcohol, water, water soluble alcohol, mix. and lipid-soluble drugs. I Maybe. hope your diet doesn't only consist of those three things. <laughs> right? So those are the only things your stomach absorbs. Notice your stomach is not absorbing carbs, fats, and protein. So three is the correct answer. Your stomach is not absorbing the majority of your food. What organ is going to absorb the majority of your food? The small intestine. Yeah, the small intestine, which is next. All right, some of you guys chose one. Let's review why one isn't the best answer. What is the only food that your stomach actually has enzymes to digest? Protein. Yep. So your stomach does digest protein. And what is the name of the enzyme that digests the protein? Pepsin. Pepsin. Yep. And we'll review that again later on. But again, your stomach, you guys should have in your uh, row for stomach. X for carbs, X for fats, because you don't digest those, but you should have pepsin for protein. Okay. All right, so just to summarize so far, we know digestive system is regulated to digest and absorb food. You guys have gone through, you know, as food is propelled or moves through the GI tract, which is mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, and intestine it is digested and absorbed. <clears throat> you also know that we have the accessory organs, the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. And one thing I want to point out is that they empty all of their secretions into the small intestine. So if you think about the location of these three organs, they all funnel into the small intestine. So if you look on your sheet and you see like bile, 
right, for pancreas and gallbladder, the bile goes into the small intestine. If you look on your sheet and you see all those enzymes from the pancreas, again, they empty into the small intestine. And the small intestine will then help you digest and absorb your food. And the stomach empties into the small intestine. Exactly, and of course the stomach goes directly into the small intestine. So notice everything kind of leads to the small intestine. And we'll explain why a little more, but that's going to be your place that you want to do your most absorption of your food. Okay. All right. So next we're going to head into regulation of your digestive system. So I'm going to start off with this question. True or false? If you just think about delicious food, you can activate your stomach. True. Yep. You guys know if you're hungry and you start like daydreaming of your favorite meal, what happens? Oh, your stomach starts to growl and rumble. You can actually physically feel it, right? So this is true. And here's why. So we're going to talk about how you can get your stomach to activate. So why did your stomach growl when you're hungry? Here's why. Ultimately, if your stomach is going to be activated, what your stomach has to do is release a hormone. That hormone is called gastric. And it shouldn't surprise you, right? Because you said gastro stands for what? Stomach. Stomach, right? So the hormone released from the stomach is gastrin. What gastrin does is it activates the gastric gland. Gastric glands are glands that line your entire stomach wall. The importance of these gastric glands is they're the ones that secrete that gastric juice that you guys saw. So that gastric juice, remember, has the enzyme pepsin. What does pepsin break down again? Protein. Protein, protein. PP, right? Pepsin protein. This gastric juice is also very acidic. It has hydrochloric acid in it. So how many guys have heard of, oh, your stomach is very acidic? Yeah. So gastric juice has a pH of about two. So when you vomit and you don't have food in your stomach, or you vomit all your food out, yep. you usually vomit up the lining of your stomach, or the, oh, gastric juice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's the great point. Paige says when you vomit, let's say you vomited so much, all of your food is out. You know you vomited all your food, but you're still vomiting the liquid. The liquid you're vomiting is the gastric juice now. And you'll notice that burns your esophagus. Yeah. Again, it's very acidic because it has actually hydrochloric acid in it. Yeah, so you actually have hydrochloric acid in your stomach, pH of two, very acidic. Yeah. But it's this gastric juice that mixes with your food and helps you make the kind. Right? That acidity helps you break down the food to get that liquid kind. So when that gastric juice is in your stomach, and then your stomach starts to move, your stomach starts um, contracting its muscles, that gastric juice moving around an empty stomach, that's what causes the growling sound, and that's when you feel the rumble, is you feel this gastric juice moving around your stomach. So what keeps the gastric juice from getting to your bloodstream? Yeah, great question. What keeps the gastric juice from getting into your bloodstream? It turns out your entire stomach is lined with mucus. And that mucus helps protect your lining from that gastric juice. Again, which is why your stomach is not the best place to absorb most of your stuff because you have this nice protective lining so that things like gastric juice don't get absorbed. Okay, so again, you just th thought about food. Your stomach released gastrin. Gastrin is a hormone which activates the glands lining your stomach wall. Those glands release juice, and then when your stomach starts moving that gastric juice, that's the growling and the rumbling and the, the feeling. So what about when your stomach growls when you're not thinking about food? <clears throat> 